Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Cisco SD-WAN in a lab environment. This video will be useful for those who are setting up the Cisco SD-WAN lab for the first time. And this lab, uh, I'm going to uh, show for those who are uh, planning to, you know, uh, set up a lab for studying purpose. Um, for official recommendation, uh, looking to the Cisco uh, recommended uh, guidelines, I have given the Cisco link in the description. You can check that. To bring up the Cisco SD-WAN setup, first we have to onboard the controllers. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is my lab topology. Um, we need minimum one vBond, one vManage, and one vSmart controllers to bring up the SD-WAN connections. So I'm using uh, VMware EXSI uh, hypervisor to spin my VMs. Uh, you can see all these uh, devices in the topology are spin across the uh, uh, hypervisor only. You can use any uh, hypervisor like KVM or you can use EVNG or uh, GNS3, but uh, the connectivity should be like this. Uh, all the VBond connected to a one virtual switch and that connected to an internet router. This is nothing but a virtual router, CSRV. And from there I connected uh, three VH uh, routers. This is to make sure uh, all the devices can uh, ping each other, like from VH1 to VBond, VManage, VSmart, the IP reachability should be there. Then only the connections will come up. So to start, uh, we have to download the software for VBond, VManage, and VSmart. I'll show you where to download that. To download the software, we have to log into software.cisco.com and select SD-WAN. You can see uh, there is a link for uh, vSmart software, vManage, and uh, vH. You don't see a separate software for vBond because we are going to use uh, vH Cloud software for vBond also. When I click vH Cloud, you can see it says uh, this image is used for uh, vH Cloud and also for vBond new deployment. I'm going using a VMware image. So once you have downloaded the software and uh, create a new virtual instances for vbond, vManage, and vSmart, and connect them uh, the way I connected to the same virtual switch so that they can all talk to each other. And one thing to remember is uh, the vManage and vSmart, when it comes online, it comes only with the uh, ETH0-0 interface. We have to add a new NIC card, new interface, for your uh, transport uh, VPN0. And also, for vManage, we have to add additional 200 GB of hot disk so that uh, the NMS services uh, comes up in the vManage. Otherwise, it won't come up. Once you add the interfaces and the hot disk, we have to reload both vManage and vSmart to take effect. Now, first I'm going to uh, log into vManage console and I'm going to onboard the vManage. So this is my uh, vManage console. This is the first time I'm logging. And you can see I'm using the software 19.2.2 in the lab environment. The default username and password uh, for uh, vManage is admin admin. Doing the same. So when you log in for the first time, it will ask you to set the admin password. I'm giving the same password admin, admin. Okay, now, uh, since we have added uh, 200 GB of hard disk, you can see the SDA uh, 200 uh, GB here. And uh, we have to, it is asking to select a storage device to use. And uh, you can see uh, one for SDA. So we have to type one and then enter. Now, would you like to format the SDA? We have to give yes and then enter. Now it will format the uh, hard disk and uh, vManage will be coming online. So now um, it is formatted and it is uh, rebooting now. Uh, now my vManage is rebooting. So in the meantime, I'm going to onboard uh, vSmart also. You can see I'm running 19.2.2 release and uh, entering the default username password admin admin. and it will ask you to set the admin password since you're logging for the first time. 
I'm giving the same admin admin for now. So now we are already inside. You just have to configure the management interface so that we'll get the SSS access. You can see right now it is down. I'm going to make it up and uh, configure the management IP. Config T. You have to go under the VPN. VPN 51. Okay, you can see both are under uh, VPN 0. So I have to remove the interface which I'm going to use for my VPN 512. So in my lab, I'm going to use ETH, uh, zero, ETH 0 for my management. So I'm going to remove that from my uh, uh, VPN 0. So I first I have to conf, I have to go inside the VPN 0. Then give no interface ETH 0. And uh, now I'll go under VPN 512, interface ETH 0, and I'll configure management IP. So now I have done my VPN 512 configuration. I called interface ETH0 given the IP address and I have to give a default toward, uh, route towards my gateway. And uh, now I can try pinging my uh, default gateway IP. So it says by default that when you initiate a ping it takes VPN0. So I have to specify my uh, management VPN. Mm, now I can uh, reach my gateway. So I can log into this device using SSH. We have to follow the same step for uh, uh, our V-Bond also. So I'm not uh, showing here. Once I log in, I will show you that. So now our uh, V-Manage is up. Logging using the admin admin. So now it is there. Show interface pipe tab. We'll show you what are the interface. So you can say it's the same like a V-Smart, uh, the VPN 0 is assigned for both uh, interface ETH 0 and ETH 1. So I'm going to do the same what I did for vSmart. I'm going to remove that ETH0 from uh, VPN0 and put it under VPN512 for management and uh, try to get the SSH access. So you can see in uh, vManage also, I logged into VPN0. I given no interface ETH0 and I am going inside VPN512. I'm giving interface ETH0, no shut and the IP address and exit and under VPN512, I'm giving the IP route towards my gateway and then commit the configuration. Okay, so once the configuration is committed, let's check the gateway is reachable. I have to give the VPN 512. Yeah, so now I can do the SSH access to my uh, vManage also. And one more thing, uh, we have to check in vManage is the NMS services. Once it onboarded, request NMS status request nms uh, request nms all status so we just have to make sure all the um, services are up nms services now we will uh, log into the ssh and we will um, start onboarding the controllers so now i have uh, logged into all the three uh, controllers via ssh I'm inside uh, vManage uh, now. And if you see, uh, there is no VPN0 configuration. And uh, as per our topology uh, for vManage, for VPN0, we have to call this interface gigi 0 0 And uh, we have to give the uh, transport IP address uh, for VPN0, 2021.2. So that I'm going to configure now. So you can see right now the ETH1 interface, the other interface uh, is showing down. There are only two interfaces in uh, vManage. I'm going to configure it now. So first we have to go to config mode, go into VPN0, then go to interface ETH1. It's down now, so give no shut. Then configure the IP address, 20.20.1.2. Then we have to give a default root. IP root slash zero. So the default root I'm giving the uh, the internet IP as the gateway IP twenty twenty dot one dot four. Now uh, one more thing we have to do under the interface is uh, interface ETH one. We have to call enable the tunnel interface because uh, there will be a DTLS tunnel created between the controllers. So we have to uh, 
uh, enable the tunnel interface under uh, the VPN zero in interfaces, the transport VPN, and give allow services off. Since it's a lab environment, I'm giving allow services. The allow services net config. So we show run VPN zero. So this is the config we have made: interface ETA zero, IP address, tunnel interface, all our services, and the default route. Once done, try to ping the gateway IP, your internet IP, just to make sure the IP reachability is there. Okay, so now we have done this. We'll, uh, I'm going to do the same thing for vSmart and vBond, and uh, I'm going to pause the video to save the time. So uh, I have done the configuration for vSmart uh, under show run VPN0. You can see the interface config and default route and uh, tunnel interface, and also all the services all. We manage, we already done, and vBond also, I did the same. Uh, we bond using the VH uh, software, so the tunnel, uh, the I mean the VPN zero interface will show us gigi zero slash zero. The other two will be like ETH one and ETH one, like vManage and vSmart. And uh, you have to give the tunnel interface encapsulation IPsec and uh, allow services all. And I'm just making sure the IP reachability is there with all the controllers. 1.2 is my vManage, 1.3 is my vSmart, 1.4 is my uh, gateway. So once um, all the IP reachability is uh, okay, we can log into your uh, vManage uh, via GUI and start adding the controllers into that.